Hello everybody. This Taco circulation pump recently got really noisy after I replaced the check valve and a hot water tank. And it made no sense to me that a pump that was running perfectly fine would not be working properly after a new check valve was installed and after the a new water heater. My pump sounded just like the pump on this YouTube video. So to solve my noise problem, here's the first thing I did. I isolated my pump, so these are my two isolation valves. So I closed these two valves, one here, one here. This is a wet rotor design, Taco circulation pump. Many of the uh, circulation pumps are all the same. They're sort of a wet rotor design, designed to help keep the motor cool. This one happens to be a Taco, I don't know, 006-B4. But they're all quite similar. So after I isolated the pump by setting my isolation valves, went in with a 5 16th nut driver and loosened the four mounting screws here. There's one, two, and there's two on the back side. But for these, a little bit of water is going to come out, or a little bit of water should come out. But what's interesting is as I was loosening this up, I could hear this air uh, either escaping or uh, going in. I'm not sure whether the pressure on the inside of the pump cavity was higher than the atmosphere here or lower. But in any event, there was a pressure differential between the inside of this pump and the atmosphere, the, local, the surrounding air. When I got it apart, interestingly enough, there was no water in this pump cavity at all, which really, really shocked me. Um, I had assumed that the pump was running and had load, but the pump was quite warm, very warm, much warmer than normal. And apparently there was no water in the pump. So put a bucket here and I opened this valve with this whole section off, just four screws, all moves away. Make sure you've unplugged it, okay? But the whole pump pulls away, and you can see the interior of this cavity. After I opened this valve, the amount of junk that came out of the pump was unbelievable. So I flushed that line out, and now I know that I have water in the line. Put the pump back together, open the valves up, and the noise is gone. So the bottom line here is that there was no water flowing in here and for whatever reason this new check valve seemed to aggravate the, the flow issue. Whatever the flow issue was, it's now resolved. You know, I don't know whether there's some blockage somewhere. This is, this is my return hot water circulation line. I have a continuous loop that runs through the house uh, so that we have instant hot water at the faucets. Uh, but that had, we thought that was working okay, but apparently not perfectly. So with the new check valve, that seemed to aggravate the problem of flow. And once I got the air out of this and this line flushed, the noise completely went away. The bottom line here is even though you think you may have flushed your lines, because I bled the hot water lines for a long time, got some air to escape, uh, but that didn't seem to solve the problem. But once I took the whole pump off and bled all the junk that was in this line and all the air out of it, threw it back together again, it runs perfectly. My pump is actually running right now. The little clicking you hear is that I've got a, a timer up there that's a little bit noisy. We'll have to replace that. I try to turn the circulation off between, uh, let's say, midnight and 5 a.m. And uh, we circulate continuously all day. So I hope that helps you a little bit. I'm looking to get to 1,000 subscribers <laughs> one of these days. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you found it interesting or helpful. But one way to make sure this line is completely bled is to just take these four bolts off. The whole pump slides off. 
you'll have complete access to this cavity. You'll be able to see how much water is in there or how much debris might be in there. Open your isolation valve to allow all the gunk to flush out. Make sure you've got a big bucket. It, it is quite a mess. And button it all back together again and my pump noise completely went away. So thanks for watching.